I would do an Overwatch VOD for John for Overwatch support player. Language. Thank you for not responding. It was, uh, okay. Good. Yeah, just. Anyway. Move past that. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to see. All right, so one of the worst maps will sky, but that's okay. So we're playing main heal. We have an off support, main tank, off tank, two DPS, one range, one flank. So this is a pretty nice comp. Um, wow, this headset is starting to mess up, just like all the others. Okay. Um, so pretty good overall comp. You know, we have a lot of frontline. Hanzo, Zarya, Ryan is really good on this map. Mora is really good in the meta, Zan's really good on this map, and Tracer, it depends on the right hands, but Tracer's always a pretty solid pick, unless they're pretty heavy armor, or things that she can't really handle. Then we look for that to switch. Uh, so this is all pretty good. Let's go to, go ahead and see what we play. Okay. So a couple of things that we're mainly focused on with Mora is, of course, balancing our healing juice. Uh, as you can always be better with that. Even the best Mora players in the world don't do that effectively. So we're gonna look for every opportunity to talk about that and make sure that we're actively feathering when we can feather, full spraying when we're supposed to full spray and mixing in the right healing orbs, damage orbs, and right clicks to build up that charge. So actually, let's see how we used our first orb. I can't talk about it. Typically, the very first orb should be a damage orb for ult charge. So that's good. I wanna take a little bit lower angle on it. We see it didn't hit anything. Oh, it's trying to hit things now, so that's good. Uh, but I would have kind of waited just to be down here and then throw it this way. Better chance to hit something. But we still get the value from it. Zarya gets pulled, so we immediately full spray, which is good. As soon as the purple came out, we reacted right clicks. This is all fine so far. Uh, what I would be staring at when they're purple is what my cooldown on this is, because I know I'm going to want to use this healing orb off of cooldown right now to keep my tanks up. And perfect. So everything's nice so far. It's chilling. We're in a scrum. Yeah, we pretty much have to be full spring where we are right now. So, of course, you know, feathering, if you just, like, tap light click, you use way less of the meter, and it still gets an AoE heal on, but it is a little bit less than just full spring. Uh, we're full spring when our tanks are pretty in danger, so this is all fine so far. We're doing a really good job. Our positioning isn't all that bad. I would like to see a little bit quicker flick over to this Ryan. Ryan's more important than Zarya more times than not. But other than that, this is solid so far. We have nothing else to heal. We're killing that fight, so we should... Switch to right click. Okay, so that was probably the only tiny mistake I saw right there. No reason to heal. The, she's full. Let's save. We're already at half meter. We rebuilt a bit of it. No reason to left click here. So we just use a little too much of that meter right now for no reason. Good damage arb right in the hall. Perfect. Gives you a chance to build some ult charge, which we do. Let's see if we can get some right click. Yeah, this is all fine. You actually pretty much to this point you played pretty much perfect. Good feather. I look for a damage orb right here just to get some ult charge. This is all fine. Right there, damage, okay. Now we have coalescence. We have a pick, so we shouldn't need to use coalescence. Just chilling, yeah. Might as well. We're oh, our Han their Hanzo died. Our Hanzo died. Their Hanzo died. Their Hanzo died. Our Hanzo did die to a headshot. Not your fault. So we're just chilling. The other team isn't resetting. It's kind of what low rank is. Just chilling. So right there, I guess, is the only tiny thing. We're not starting nitpicking because it's been, what, a minute and a half? And there's actually only been one fight so far. It's just because the one's resetting. Uh, so we throw a damage orb here. Kind of unnecessary. It's not going to do anything. We already have our ult. Mora orb doesn't do a lot of damage. I wouldn't bother with the damage orb. I would just hold it or use a heal orb. And then we're still healing these when they're full health. So just be a little bit better on that. We want to make sure that we have this as full as possible when we have opportunities. Our Ryan's being dumb and just leaving a shield up to get broke right here. So as soon as that shield breaks, I'd go for a healing orb. Okay. 
We coalescence when we grab. Cool. Win the fight. Fine with that. And we're just chilling. So as far as the coalescence goes, uh, I mean, you're kind of forced to use it there. As a team, grabbing there is a really bad choice, and coalescence is a bad choice. Their team wasn't pushing, and they didn't commit anything, so we're just down ult economy, but not all that important. All right, so point is, we're moving on, rather. Uh, we need to rebuild our ult. We have full meter for our heal. Let's go ahead and throw a damage orb somewhere. Let's get that ult charge going. Sure, right at the Hanzo, that can work. Hog's over there too. We, we got a good like 6-7% from that. Our Doom went in, which means they're down cooldowns and Arisha Shield's down. So since the Arisha Shield's down, you know they can't push for a solid 6 seconds. That means when this is off a of cooldown, another damage orb. They mess up their cooldowns, you get free ult charge. So immediately damage orb right here. Anywhere. Damage orb, damage orb, damage orb. No. So this is one of those, so they're down people, they were down cooldowns, we're down ult charge. Let's go ahead and use that for our ult charge. So right there's one. We can be a bit better with our uh, with our meter. And we can feather right here. I know that they're critical, which in your mind, okay, heal, I get that. But let's break that. This fight's over, right? Like they're not gonna be pushing. Our team's ready to back up. They just got purpled. This is where we can just feather the heal. Save more of this and get just as much healing. This is an opportunity to just chill for a bit. So like right here, we're full spraying and we use a lot of our meter. Oh, we did. Ooh, Hog missed it. You got lucky. All right, don't be afraid of healing orb here if you really need. Okay, you're getting healed. Use it anyway, it's okay. This is one of those, if we would have done our feathering and damage orb there, everything that happened in this fight would have still happened. We would just be closer to 60% ult. The Coalescence is a super valuable ult. We know that our Ana probably has ult. We're not tabbing a lot, so we can't really tell. But I'm going to assume that she already has ult. Because she doesn't use it yet. Okay. So we initially go to heal, which is really nice. But we didn't identify he's going for this health pack. So we don't need to heal him. I would immediately switch to damage and help him kill this Genji. Like immediately. Like right here, everything changes. Let's just identify that a little bit quicker. And that's a kill. Feather, 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 feather. And so that's one. It's, oh, we have a Zen on Ana, my bad. But we know Zen has trans for sure. He has trans. He doesn't have to use it yet. So this is one. Let's feather this. Feather this. Keep that charge up. Because now we're super low charge and we don't have coalescence. It puts us in a weird spot. Damage orb right here, right now. Full charge. Again, it's one of those. It's going to take them a little bit of time to push up. If we do a coalesce or a damage orb, it'll actually slow them down because they have to decide if they want to heal it or they go and hurt. And a damage orb here would give you a solid 15 to 20% ult charge. Okay, so we do it just a little late. Okay, we get out, we rotate to our tanks. This is nice. So only thing here that we can see, the slight misplays early put us in a tough position. We should have coalescence right now and we could actually counter engage with coalescence. But we don't have it and it's okay. Full beam here is fine. The reason why full beam here is fine, even if we're kind of mini resetting, is because it'll get you to a coalescence. If your coalescence is up, your charge doesn't matter as much, right? Because you can just coalescence. So full beam here is fine. I would look for a healing orb. Perfect. This was all perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Good positioning. And wow, you just got headshot through that. Super unfortunate. <laughs> uh, honestly, your positioning was fine. Like, so with our team, we're playing a little bit with the wall, which is good. You could be farther over here already to kind of spray back towards your team. But this is still fine. This is still fine. 